the distribution of a discrete random variable x is given in the following table. So x has four possible values, 0, 1, 2, 3. And here are the corresponding probabilities. The first question, find the expected value and the variance of x. Now let's first, let's recall the formulas to compute the expected value of fx. So given a random variable x, the expected value of fx is equal to the summation, all the possible value of x, fx times probability x is equal to x. Now let's start with a. The expected value of x based on the formula is equal to the summation over all the possible value of x, x times probability x equals x. Here, the fx is just the x, right? Because we're taking expected value of x. This is equal to x has four possible values, 0, 1, 2, 3. So 0 times probability that x equal to, is equal to 0, which is 0 0.1, plus 1 times probability that x is equal to 1, which is 0 0.4, plus 2 times probability that x is equal to 2, which is 0 0.3, plus 3 times probability that x is equal to 3, which is 0 0.2. And this is equal to 1.6. Now we want to calculate the variance of x and recall the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared subtract the expected value of x squared. Now we already calculated the expected value of x, so we need to calculate the expected value of x squared. So expected value of x squared is equal to, again, we use this formula. Here, the fx here is x squared. So we just plug in this formula using, uh, assuming fx is x squared. So this is equal to the summation of x, all the possible value of x, x squared times probability x is equal to x. Again, we start with the value 0, so 0 squared times probability that x is equal to 0, 0.1, which is 0.1, plus 1 squared times probability that x is equal to 1, which is 0.4, plus 2 squared times probability that x is equal to 2, which is 0.3, plus 3 squared times probability that x is equal to 3, which is 0.2, and this is equal to 3.4. Now, we're ready to calculate the variance of x given here. So the variance of x is equal to 3.4 subtract 1.6 square, which is equal to 0.84. Now let's look at question B. Calculate the expected value of x minus 2 squared. So B, expected value of x minus 2 squared. Now again, in this formula, fx, is now, fx now is x minus 2 squared. So again, we plug everything into this formula. So this is equal to summation over all the possible value of x x minus 2 squared times probability x equals x. And this is equal to, we started with a 0, so 0 minus 2 squared times probability x equals 0, which is 0 0.1, plus 1 minus 2 squared times probability x equals 1, which is 0 0.4, plus 2 minus 2 squared times probability 
that x is equal to 2, which is 0.3, plus 3 minus 2 squared, times probability that x equals a 3, which is a 0.2, and this is equal to 1. Thank you for watching.